Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Maria Yurdi, Executive Director of the Transbay Joint Powers Authority. I'd like to begin by thanking all of you for joining us here today. Today, we celebrate a number of things, amongst them that we completed demolition of the old Transbay Terminal and that our foundation construction work is well underway, as you can see from the surrounding site. Before I begin, I'd like to thank and acknowledge our congressional delegation that was extremely instrumental in helping us fully fund phase one and helping us get the 400 million that is allowing us to do the construction work that you see here today. I'd like to thank our leader, Nancy Pelosi, Senator Dianne Feinstein, and Senator Barbara Boxer. I would also like to thank, <laughs> I would also like to acknowledge and of course thank our mayor, Mayor Ed Lee, who is here with us today. Since Mayor Lee's early days in City Hall, he has been a strong supporter of the Transbay Project and everything that the Transbay Project represents. Housing, improved air quality, the alleviation of congestion, and a better quality of life for all Bay Areans and San Franciscans alike. I would also like to add that since Mayor Lee came to office in January of 2011, we have created over 1,000 jobs for this project. So right. thank you, Mr. Lee. In addition, I'd like to thank, of course, our board of directors. Jane Kim is here with us today, and you'll be hearing from her shortly. I don't know if uh, Mayor Brown made it today, but he was also going to join us, and I think it's important to acknowledge and thank him, because after all, he started the project many, many years ago. Um, in addition, Senator Burton, I'd like to acknowledge and thank him as well. He helped us get the land that is now today going to be the site of the new Transbay Transit Center, as well as the new surrounding neighborhood, which is going to be a national model for transit-oriented development. You'll be hearing more about that in a moment, but it's going to include thousands of new residential units. It's going to include parks and open space and shops and retail and restaurants and so forth. So again, you'll be hearing a little bit more about that from both the mayor and Jane. In addition, I think the men and women that have been working on our construction site, you see some of them here today, the carpenters and others, have been very dedicated and working very hard on the project, and I'd like to thank them for all of their hard work today. I'm thrilled to report that the project is on budget, it is on schedule. And with respect to the demolition, we had over 55,000 hours of labor work completed without any accidents, without any injury. So thank you guys for such a great job. In addition, we did a great deal of recycling. We recycled over 92,000 cubic yards of concrete. Now that's enough to fill 28 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In addition to that, we recycled 7,200 tons of steel. So we're really doing our job as part of this project. And as many of you know, when the new station opens, it will be LEED Gold certified, which is one of the highest ratings ever given to a transit facility such as this. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our board member, Jane Kim, and District 6 Supervisor. Um, thank you so much, Maria, um, for inviting us to this great event. Um, as the District Supervisor um, for, for the South of Market, I know that my constituents and myself are particularly interested in the impact that this transit center is going to have um, for District 6 and also for the city of San Francisco and, and the Bay Area. And I want to recognize um, our, our, our mayor, Mayor Willie Brown, who, who has just arrived. Come, on, come forward. Come on up here. In, in many ways, and recognizing those that have worked for decades on this project, I, I get to come in for the fun part, um, which is the implementation um, to see this transit center move forward over the next uh, several years. And it is truly exciting. Um, Maria pointed out many of the things that, that will come forward with this, um, including jobs, um, something that, we, we, um, that our city desperately needs um, during this time, but two issues that I care very deeply about, which is affordable housing and also pedestrian safety, two issues that our office has been taking on. Um, this project will bring 4,400 new units of housing for the city of San Francisco around a, transit, around a transit center which will host AC Transit, BART, Muni, and, and hopefully high-speed rail. 
Um, this is something that we're looking forward to, including 1,200 units of affordable housing. Along with that, we're including many plans for increasing pedestrian safety in the area as well, um, which is something that has also been a large issue for our district. I um, really wanted to thank um, TGBA and recognize um, one of our members who's also here today, Gabriel Metcalf, an appointee of the mayor's office, um, and also the staff of TJPA and, of course, our executive director, Maria Iardi Kaplan, um, for all their work. And to the men and women that are building um, this center, which will be a huge benefit to both the city of San Francisco and um, to the Bay Area. Also recognize um, our many partners because this project would not be possible um, with just um, one entity. But want to recognize John Ram from the planning department, Fred Blackwell from redevelopment, and Jen Matz um, from Mayor's Office of Economic and Workforce Development. Many people are coming together to make sure that this transit center will not only create open space, affordable housing, pedestrian safety, um, business and jobs, um, but it will be something that will be something that the city of San Francisco can be proud of. In the not too distant future, these five blocks, um, alleyways on both sides, will be bustling centers of activities for commuters and neighbors alike and will be our Grand Central here um, in San Francisco. As Maria has also pointed out, this project is um, projected to add over 145,000 new jobs by 2030. Locating these jobs directly adjacent to transit not only grows our economy, but also reduces congestion and improves our environment by making transit easier, more effective, and convenient. So at this time, um, do I get to, um, I'd like to introduce um, our mayor here of San Francisco, um, one that I have the distinct pleasure and honor of serving and representing our city with. I'm someone who has um, had a long history of public service and understands the many different levels um, of, that our city provides, all the way from DPW to contracting, many of the things that are involved in this project here, our mayor, Med Mayor Edwin Lee. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Maria. I'm so happy to be here, but I got a little nervous when Maria was saying this is lead gold, because as soon as she said that, former Mayor Willie Brown was walking in, and I just want to make sure she meant lead gold in the design and performance, not gold leaves on the top. <laughs> we can't afford that. Not on this building. A anyway. Um, Thank you very much, everyone, for being here, and thank you for the agencies that are working so well together. And our NTA director here, Fred Blackwell, uh, Jen Matz, and Ken Rich, and especially want to thank John Ram because the planning department's been really at the bones behind doing all of the uh, planning with the different agencies, the different challenges that are here, because there's a lot of challenges that have been presented by such a wonderful, complex, futuristic beautiful, beautiful designed building. Uh, there's just going to be such a transformation of the whole downtown and community uh, because of this project. But it's also because a transit center to replace what was here was the center in their times of transportation hub for the whole Bay Area when the, when the old tra terminal was here. And so in the vision of our city, and when Maria took up this job, she knew, uh, because she had worked for a number of different mayors throughout the process, envisioning what this would mean to the future of our city, that we do need a brand new transit center that is not only modern, not only has got all the amenities that you just heard, whether it's housing, office space, and so forth, but that it represents the future of our city. Because at the very center of it, will be the box for the high-speed rail. That's what we ultimately want to land, to make sure it is the center of hub for the whole of Northern California. That's where that high-speed rail will end, right here at Trans Bay. It will also represent, as uh, Supervisor Kim knew, 145,000 jobs. You just look at the happy smile carpenter faces around behind me, because they know they got a jobs for a long time and they can afford to live in this very expensive city with these good paying jobs, right? right. Absolutely. Right. And we have more jobs to come as a result of this. This is part of our economic engine. It is also the story that we will tell as to why the federal government has to, they just have to pass the extension of that transportation authorization plan because without that, this would be challenged, 
Doyle Drive will be challenged, the Bay Bridge will be challenged, every major transportation mode of any significance in the Bay Area would be challenged. We're already hearing from Caltrans about the nervousness that they have uh, if that transportation uh, reauthorization isn't done, isn't done quickly. So we need that on the national level. And that's why we continue using this as an example of how we as a city have worked together with all of the community-based agencies, all of the city agencies, uh, our friends in labor as well as in business to promote one of the most beautiful, uh, very, very challenging, complex, but it's going to be a very beautiful addition to the whole downtown skyline and functionality. So today, we're celebrating this milestone where all of the demolition has been completed. That is the finished phase one. And it's been remarkable that not one uh, work-related accident has happened in all of these thousands of hours that have been put together. And by the way, of all the work hours that were mentioned, over 88% of those jobs went to nine county residents in the Bay Area for these jobs. All the demolition, the carpentry work, the removal of the dirt, and now we begin these pilings, these I-beams, uh, as they say that will go in. There'll be 500 of these I-beams that will be going in. So this is more than just a beautiful project. It is job producing. It is the most important thing that we'd be doing while we look at and kind of shake our heads as to why other cities can't be doing this or why our state is not promoting more of these transit type of uh, related projects because that's our future of this city. That's also why we need to continue talking about and making sure we make sure that not only does the high-speed rail end up here, but we promote the completion of the central subway. You know, despite some political uh, shenanigans, as I call it, uh, for creating more doubt, we do not have doubt in the city family, nor in the federal family, nor in the state family of agencies that have time and time again approved the central subway as being part of our future that links north and south. Because you have to ask one simple question. Where is all the new housing being developed in our city? It's in Visitation Valley. It's in Hunters Point Shipyard. It is in Mission Bay. And how do you connect everybody up in the city? Through the Central Subway. And through and around and in this transit hub. So we've got to connect everybody up. We've got to make sure it's done right. And we will be so regretting any doubt that we can't complete the Central Subway. We've got every approval. And there's no doubt in my mind that we'll get that final grant agreement going by the end of the year. So for anyone to challenge that at this time, I think it's political shenanigans and really uh, takes on kind of a challenge to our future that, uh, that I, I would think would be disastrous. So uh, with that, I want to congratulate uh, everyone here for finishing this phase and then to announce that we have for your handouts today the district transit plan, the plan that uh, will in detail something that I know John Ram and Ken and the whole team has been working really hard in detail is to present this plan and for you to see all the buildings, all the 300 acres of uh, new open space uh, and parks that are presented here, the different buildings both privately uh, and publicly invested in because this again has been part of the redevelopment uh, approach to this using uh, tax increment to provide investment funding and using our public dollars in the most maximum way to make sure there is private dollars invested in the buildings, not only in the district, but surrounding it. And you'll have thousands of new homes uh, that'll be built right here along with the open space. So it's a wonderful, wonderful design. And I invite you to get a copy of this. And I hope there's enough copies to pass around, but it is the transit district plan that you should focus on because that is the design that we're building right here. And I'll be looking forward to putting my little initials on, of immortality on this side beam in a few moments. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, again, we do have copies of the Transit Center District Plan for all of you. If you'd like a copy, please see us or Director Ram or Director Katz from the Mayor's Office of, of Workforce Development. Uh, it's a great celebration that soon towards uh, early October we're looking to release the plan which will be the uh, allow for the development of many high-rises in this neighborhood both in the Transit Bay neighborhood and the surrounding neighborhoods that will bring funding to the Trans Bay Joint Powers Authority to build out the rest of the project.
project phase two, which includes the rail levels coming into the station. It will bring funding to in for infrastructure that's badly needed in the neighborhood, funding for parks and many other amenities. So please, I invite you to look at this wonderful transit center district plan brochure that was put together by the planning department. And now what I'd like to do is invite Mayor Lee uh, to sign the I-beam that will be coming in as part of the shoring wall in December and certainly other dignitaries to sign as well. So Mr. Lee, uh, Mayor Lee. Do I leave room for anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do something here. What's today's date? Today is... 7th. 7th. 9th. 7th. 11th. How about that? Nice job. All right. Yeah, nice work. Supervisor? <laughs> I, I have oh, okay. <laughs> my gosh, I don't know if I can find that big. It's an otter. Did you get the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have you, you two shot artists. You have two shot artists. You know how, you know exactly how we do that. You know exactly how we do that. Am I, uh, yes, yes. Anywhere you'd like to stay. Anywhere. Sorry. No, that's not right. Those are the shoes that you got to start campaigning in. Did you coordinate the shoes today? We did. We coordinated the shoes today. Did you coordinate the shoes today? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> 